the thorough trickster. Look! Ain't that a treasure? Right, Mona? Thanks for everything, gang. Mona chan? Mona? Humans have the power to change the world. They just forgot about that a bit. Hey. Thanks to you guys, I was able to complete my duty. Everything was thanks to you. Wasn't it, Morgana? Thank you. I got to be useful for humans that I admired so much. Nothing could make me happier. This place will soon disappear, too. Time to go home. Like the rain stopped. Hey guys, what? Everything. The whole world is a product of cognition, not just the metaverse. It can be freely remade. The same goes for you and everyone else. <laughs> Dude, Mona! Mona this can't be happening! <laughs> Soon a new world will come. One where mankind isn't held captive. The world will shine brightly as long as you hold hope in your hearts. But what's going to happen to you? Remember, there's no such thing as the real world. What each person sees and feels, those are what shape reality. This is what gives the world infinite potential. Even if you feel that only darkness lies ahead, as long as you hold hands together, see it through as one, the world will never end. The world exists within all of you. Morgana... Huh. Mona... The Metanav... It's gone! The Mentos must have disappeared too. We can't see Mona anymore... Can we? Probably not. <laughs> what are y'all so gloomy for? Mona would laugh at us for it! That reminds me... And what about the public? Were we able to change their hearts? I'm gonna be late for my date! All alone on Christmas, huh? It's kinda hard to tell. Aren't we going into the new year without a prime minister? Will this country be alright? <laughs> but there's no way we're getting Shido. There are tons of shady rumors about him, you know? I wonder how things will go. I hope they go well. Let's believe in the adults. Sis promised us, after all. 
From here on out, it's the prosecutor's job, huh? If we can't enter the metaverse, that means we've been relieved of being phantom thieves. It feels a bit sad. <sighs> what did I just say? We gotta stop being so gloomy. Think about that insane ass we just kicked. You're right. We should be celebrating with a victory toast. Well, we're still high schoolers, so we can't really drink a real toast. Oh, what if we tried something else? Like, what do athletes do after a win? You mean a huddle? We could all circle up and give a victory shout together. Sounds good, except for the part where we're in the dead center of Shibuya, surrounded by tons of people. What? You want to do it here and now? Come on, Ryuji, get with the program. I too am disappointed. After all we've been through together, you've nothing left to lose with this. Hey, speak for yourself. I've got tons of shit I could lose. Fine, let's get this over with. Everyone, put your hands in. Don't you think this is a little too overt? Yeah, uh, can we hurry this up? I don't mind yelling, so long as we make it quick. Well, this celebration is going great. <sighs> Whatever. Joker, you lead off with this. Got it. Hmm. It would only feel natural for you to take the charge. When he gives our victory cry, we all follow with a super loud, yeah! Got it? All right. One, two. We did it. Yeah! yeah! <sighs> that actually made me feel a bit better. It's like everything's <sighs> finally over. Yeah. You may be right there. The more I think about it, the more pressure I realize we were really under. I hope we can relax at least a little now. Ugh, it's chilly! It's snowing. No wonder it's cold. Is this what they call a white Christmas? It's still Christmas Eve. Christmas. I completely forgot about it. Anyhow, we'll have to see what happens for now. We should probably break for today. Let's meet at LeBlanc tomorrow and have a final meeting on the situation. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, it'll be Christmas, so why don't we do a last celebration party? I like the sound of that. There better not be anyone that's got plans already. It's settled then. Make sure you persuade Boss to let us reserve the store for the party. Sure thing. We will be counting on you. Well then, see you all again tomorrow. I'm worried about Sojiro, so I'm gonna head home. Okay. <sighs> we should go home too. I'll be completely honest, I cried a little bit at the end there. I didn't expect to find the world's savior alone on Christmas Eve. Oh, sorry. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. First off, thank you for taking my request. With no your problem. actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? I'm sure it will. I believe so, too. Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. Turn myself in? Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However... That will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country, but there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? Sounds like my testimony is necessary for them to find Shido guilty. But there's no knowing what the police would do. They'd never let a phantom thief be the hero. 
If I take the stand and testify Shido's crimes, everything that everything can be taken care of, but before that. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police of your own accord. There's no need for that. Huh? You. A catchy? If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? You're... you're alive? That appears to be the case. You said there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? You're turning yourself in? That's right. I have no hidden agenda at this point. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. I'll take them in myself. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you, but I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No, in fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. Okay. Shido and the masses have undergone a change of heart, and the case headed to and the case is heading towards the resolution. This must this must be how things were supposed to happen. That was completely new to Royal. I was not expecting that at all. What are you up to? I got a message from Futaba saying she'll come over. She'll, she'll be coming over. Hurry up and come help out. Help us out at the store. All right. Okay, I'll be waiting. I should head home. I'm so ready to just burst out into tears right now. I'm. Oh, I'm so ready. It's the same every year. So much for business. Nobody's gonna come to this rundown cafe, dude. Hey. Christmas. Guess I'll close early then. <laughs> Not that I have the money to go out anywhere. Then we should have a party here. Come on, Sojiro. I want a turkey. Didn't you hear me? I don't have the cash. Shudo's goddamn henchmen. They really had to come in here and wreck my business. I should send him a bill. Anyway, if you're here, I take it you're spending this Christmas alone? I have a girlfriend. Huh? That's news to me. What? <laughs> she sold you out. Hey, Sojiro! Turkey! Oh, look, I can't spend what I don't have. Uh... We'll just have to pitch in. I can't believe I've got a kid worrying about my financial situation. Hey, Futaba, go buy some snacks or something. We'll have that party after all. Woohoo! I'm getting me some turkey! No way that's gonna be enough. Oh well. <sighs> Futaba's like a totally different person now. Just a mm -hmm. short while ago, she couldn't even step foot outside her room. Thanks to you, Sodro. <laughs> That's not true. You're the one who gave her the opportunity to change. Hmm. By the way, you holding up okay? If you need anything. What do you mean? Well, you know, everything going on with you and the Phantom Thieves. I'm back. Hey, welcome home. That was quick. Did you get a turkey? Like I could buy one with that pocket change you gave me. Cheapo Sojiro. Sorry, sorry. I guess we'll order out then. Psych! Ta-da! What? Look, Sojiro, isn't it incredible? What? Wait, is that a turkey? Where'd you get something like that? I'll reveal my secret later. We ought to get this party started right away. <laughs> I even got a cake, too. Wh 
What in the world's going on here? Still, I'm surprised you were able to get your hands on those. I don't remember giving you that much cash. Hmm? I pulled a lucky draw at the convenience store and won some gift certificates. It's a present from Santa. <laughs> what kind of luck is that? Incredible luck. Yeah, no more questioning the details. Come on. The turkey and the cake are both delicious. And they pair super well with your coffee, Sojiro. <laughs> well, I guess I can't complain. It's kind of cliche, but a storybook Christmas like this is nice. Yeah. She's adorable. <laughs> Partied her heart out and fell fast asleep. <laughs> Did all of today's excitement tuck her out? She's still such a kid at times like these. <sighs> yeah? Look, I know I already mentioned this, but it's all thanks to you that Futaba's gotten back on her feet. Honestly, I'm grateful for what you've done. I can't do much, but if there's any way I can help you, don't hesitate to ask. It feels kind of weird actually wanting to act as your guardian. Well, you don't have to say anything you don't want to. But remember, I'm on your side. That's Absolutely. all I've got to say. Thank you. I'm going to trust you, okay? After yeah. all, a whole lot's happened this year. But things are looking up now, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Not only that, we got to eat turkey and cake. Oh, Sojiro, no. You can't transform in here. <laughs> this girl. What kind of dreams are running through that brain? Futaba's still conked out, so let's wrap up the party. You better help clean, though. I will. Explain real quick. Uh, my, my audio sounds could probably sound pretty weird. That's because I had to swap to OBS and use my capture card. Cheers, Atlas. Um, and it like kind of went through this cutscene since I had auto on by accident. So we're just gonna like replay these. Akechi did what? He turned himself into the police. Sis told me yesterday. He's admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. And he's doing the right thing. So he's alive. Akechi couldn't survived and owned up to what he did. Well, I feel it's for the best. If Akechi-kun is alive, and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad turn of events. Right. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. I approve. Let everyone be merry to the max. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, as long as you don't go overboard. I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Hell yeah! Merry Christmas! Yeah. You didn't hear a word of that. No, he didn't. <sighs> Fine. Let's just enjoy ourselves and be happy. Ooh, quite the nice spread we got going here. Oh my! This is quite a sight. I'm going to be entirely honest. I wasn't able to bring a dish. Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. Hmm. Why don't we all just clean up together? So, who brought what? I brought that marinated seafood. Mmm! Oh, that's super good! It may not be to everyone's tastes, but I brought that cheese plate. Whoa! That smells like dirty socks. Oh, <laughs> mm. oh! But it tastes great. Ah, thank goodness. Oh, is this a croque and bouche? It's so cute. I made that all by myself. All I did was buy some cream puffs and stack them up, though. It's been arranged so artistically that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, On truly has us beat. True. But then, who brought this box over here? Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. 
Uh, me? K kinda? Ryuji brought sweets? Ryuji and sweets? Sweets. Hey, what are you guys getting at? It was just a bit unexpected is all. I had expected something along the lines of meat. For some reason, chicken comes to mind when I think of you. Ryuji, chicken? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. <laughs> Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. Ah, Come on, Cheryl. Did you hear what I just said? Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. Yeah. Everyone. Oh. Mona-chan. I was trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. Yeah. If only Mona could be here with us. <gasps> Someone call for me? <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about... Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? No way! I thought you disappeared! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. I headed back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! We were so worried. Sheesh. Well, I brought my own surprise back, too. I brought some fried chicken. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our chief for ya. Hell yeah. Talk about everything falling into place. Come oh. on, let's get started. We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Absolutely. Don't push your luck. <laughs> what do you have to and things are finally back to normal. Yeah. Now everyone really is here. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Greatest Christmas ever. <gasps> oh! And Morgana's back too. I'm so glad. Gosh, I think I'm tearing up again. Hey! Lady On, I'm glad to be back too. Morgana is happy as well. Here's a pic of you, Mona. A nice little post-party snapshot. Ah, aha, splendid image. Oh, auto song. Yes, somehow seeing them together puts me at ease. You and him are pretty close by now, huh, girl? He's family. Nice. Family, huh? So I'm basically your older brother, right? Anyway, don't go disappointing. Don't go disappearing again. Got it? I don't want to worry about you like that anymore. Futaba. Hey! That's right, tonight it's supposed to be a celebration. I'm glad I could be part of it. I know I already said it, but thanks to you, I'm glad I got to come back. 26th now, yeah? Oh, we moved to the 30th? We're down to only one day left of the year. I know it's sudden, but we're gonna throw a year-end party tomorrow. Kick ass! Are you organizing this for Tabachan? Thank you for letting us know. Sojo's making New Year's soba noodles for us. In that case, would it be alright if we meet up in the evening? May I invite my sister? Go ahead, the whole place is reserved anyway. Then should we call Yoshizawa too? Morgana and Futaba have already covered it, but she really helped him in that palace before. And it's New Year's Eve, so it's not like she'll be busy at practice. I agree. Then Carl, you're officially our event coordinator. It's your job to contact her. On it. Alright, see you tomorrow. A year-end party, huh? I'm already excited! I am not gonna get used to that portrait for a little while. I, ugh, just, I'm used to, like, mementos, Morgana. 
Sorry, Metaverse, not Morgana, not normal. Not like normal cat. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. Absolutely not. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yusuke, holy shit, that scarf. Where do I get one? Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? It looks great on you. Thank you. Your compliment is music to my ears. I don't think anyone other than you could pull it off, Kitagawa-senpai. This fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time! Mmm, so good! Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Your stomach's bottomless. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My <laughs> appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. Oh. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. <gasps> for real? And that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? Yep. What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual, real-life good ending! And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model-turned-actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human... Maybe Lady Anne would... The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, how of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. What a can't point. do it alone. Uh, I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <sighs> so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof, 
but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Yeah. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight. And this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Osechi time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Mm. Well. Hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? Yeah. But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. Mm -hmm. And being separated from all of you was really scary. <laughs> I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Stay with us forever. If that's what you want. Opso fucking lootly. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. Yeah. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. I agree. <laughs> Aww. And that, well, that'll conclude our, our let's play of Persona 5 Royal. I'm really, I'm actually just, oh, this game blew me away. I... I rekindled my love for it ever like when I played Persona 5 originally I wasn't too sure like at the start about it but I fell in love with it after a while and this made me experience all that once again and even made, gave me a few su surprises um, later on and like just ugh, I can't even put it into words if you have not played this game Please do yourself this favor and play this game. It is absolutely amazing. But um yeah. That's where we're going to end this series. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. And but before we go, I just want to say thank you to 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 those who stuck around up until this point. From now on, we'll be moving on to stuff related to the PS5. This, as I mentioned at the very start of this series, you may have forgotten, that this was basically the send-off series for the PS4. So we're going to be moving on to maybe some small, some smaller things and some and some other returning things, Terraria, for example. Um, so yeah, thank thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, leave a like and hey, want to subscribe to help channel grow. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next series. Bye.